All right. I'm ready when you're ready. Is it recording already? Oh, good. I, I can't, my screen isn't working today for some reason. Hi, everybody. Can I see you wave hello today? Look at all of those hands and amazing, beautiful faces. All right, let's put our hands on our knees. Can you put your hands on your knees? Can you put your hands on your heads? Can you put your hands on your shoulders? Can you put your hands over your heart? Can you put your hands over your belly? Can you put one hand on your belly and one hand on your heart? Can you switch your hands? Can you switch and switch? Switch and switch. You're going to hold your hand over your heart and hold your hand over your belly. And we're going to check in this morning. You see my little poster back there about the zones of regulation. We're going to close our eyes or look at the floor and take a nice breath in. Ready? Breath out. You'll feel warm air in your mask. One more time, breathe in, breathe out. I want you to ask yourself right now, if you're feeling happy, calm, and relaxed, show me a number one. Are there any number ones out there? Yeah? If you're feeling sad or tired or bored, show me a zero. Anyone a zero today? Some of you are zeros today, that's okay. Some of us feel bored, right? If you're, uh, if you're feeling nervous, maybe your heart's racing and your belly kind of tumbly or you're, you're um, a number three. Anyone nervous right now? So look, there's so many people feeling so many different things right now. And if you're angry or frustrated or scared, that would be a five. Okay, anyone a five? Anyone scared right now? You're in a really safe place, right? You're at school. But sometimes we have things inside of us that make us scared that we're afraid to tell people. Has anyone ever been afraid to tell anybody anything? Me too. This is called being human. I want you to say to yourself, put your hand on your heart, hand on your belly. Say, I am human. Let me hear you. I am human. Sometimes we're afraid to tell someone how we feel, right? Last week, we talked about being okay, being mad and mindful. Raise your, um, raise your hand if you remember that. Being mad and mindful. Yeah. And who remembers um, the emotion? Ready? Emotion. Shins. Clap with me. Emotions. Our emotions move through our body like a roller coaster. So let's do our roller coaster breath because sometimes we're scared. Sometimes we're mad. Sometimes we're happy. Sometimes we're nervous. Sometimes we're bored. Sometimes we're hungry. Sometimes we're tired. And sometimes we just want to be left alone. Now let's do our other hand. We'll do it quietly and slowly, up and down like a roller coaster. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up. I see so many of you doing this. Exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Move your hand. This means like a round of applause. This is like, yay. All right, glue your hands. I give a glue stick, okay? Onto your hands and glue them to your knees. And I'm gonna read you a story about a moody cow. And then we're gonna put a little bit of um, maybe some movement into it. We're gonna sit here, bring your hands to your knees and look up and say, moo. Can you do that? Look up, moo. Drop your chin towards your um, belly and say, moo. Ready? We're gonna move our emotions up and move our emotions down. 
One more. Move our emotions up and move our emotions down. All right, sit up nice and tall. I'm going to read you a story called Moody Cow Meditates. Raise your hand if you ever felt moody or mad. This guy's name is Peter. My name is Moody Cow. It used to be Peter, but now it's Moody Cow. It all started one stupid, rotten day when everything went wrong. First, I had a bad dream. What number is Moody Cow? Let me see. Who remembers? Five. He's a five. He's mad and angry. Raise your hand if you've had bad dreams. See, look around your classroom. Everybody has bad dreams. Every person on the planet has had bad dreams. He had a very bad dream, which involved a giant three-eyed alien. What a rotten way to wake up. Mom? I wanted to find my mom and tell her about the giant three-eyed alien, but I couldn't find her anywhere. So he looks worried. Who remembers what number is worried? Anyone remember? Three. Look at you guys are so smart. Good memory. He's a three. Now he's worried. Now let's see what happens. So I admit I was in a bad mood to begin with. Then I couldn't find my skateboard. Turned out my sister had borrowed it. Daisy, stop drawing on my skateboard. Raise your hand if you've ever been mad if someone took something of yours. Let me see. Oh, yes. We do get mad at that, don't we? Okay. Maybe I overreacted when I pulled her tail, but it was a brand new skateboard. So then Daisy got me back by tripping me on the stairs. What a my That made me mad. So mad that I cut her doll's hair off on purpose. Has anyone ever done anything mean on purpose to hurt someone because you're so angry? Say, I am human. We make mistakes. Of course, I got in trouble for that, which made me miss the bus. And I had to ride my bike all the way to school in the snow. And that made me really mad. So on the way home from school, I hit a snow bake and scraped my knee. There was blood everywhere. The rest of the way, I couldn't stop thinking about how my rotten day really was. And it was Daisy's fault. She put me in a bad mood by drawing on my new skateboard. Ow, ow, ow. Raise your hand if you've gotten hurt before. Yeah, raise your hand if you've seen blood off your body when you get hurt. Everybody gets hurt. Or maybe it was the giant three alien dream that I had. Whatever, I was so mad I couldn't even see straight. And when I turned into our driveway, I crashed into my dad's truck. Well, you can understand with a bloody knee and a banged up nose, I was madder than ever. Ow, I think I broke my nose, he says. Super mad. Raise your hand if you get, like, when you get really mad, you your heart beats faster. Yeah. Right? And angry and hot. So he's about to explode. Ah, I can't take it anymore. And then I did something crazy. I picked up my baseball and I threw it right through the window on purpose. He's making some really dangerous choices, don't you think? Mm-hmm. His anger is getting out of control and he needs to learn how to calm it down. Unfortunately, my mom saw the whole thing. What on earth do you think you're doing? She yelled. Have you lost your mind? She came outside, took one look at my super mad rotten day face. And I guess she felt sorry for me. Aww. You're a little moody cow. Bring your hand to your heart and rub your heart and say, it's okay to have all of my feelings. 
And sometimes when someone's really, really angry, showing them kindness could be very, very helpful. Like his mom did to him. Oh no, moody cow, moody cow, moody cow. Of course my sister Daisy heard her say that and she started shouting, moody cow, moody cow, Peter is a moody cow. The next thing I knew, all the kids in the neighborhood joined in. Raise your hand if you ever made fun of someone else. I have because I am human. And it doesn't make you feel good when you make fun of someone. Raise your hand if um, someone has made fun of you, like someone teasing you. Anyone tease you? Yeah. And that feels kind of bad, doesn't it? Yeah, we all feel those feelings. We need grandfather, said mom, and picked up the phone. So sometimes even our own parents, just like Moody Cow's mom, didn't really know how to help him, but she called the grandpa. And it's really important that we have people in our life that we can trust. A mom, a dad, an aunt, an uncle, a cousin, a teacher, someone where you can say, I need help. Raise your hand if you can think of a person that you feel safe and that you can trust. If you don't have that person, I want you to go talk to your teacher today because everybody needs a person that they feel safe and then they can trust and that person could be helpful to them just like the grandpa is going to show Moody Cow a little something. Pretty soon my grandfather was sitting in the sunroom on meditation cushion. I got to sit on one too. So let's all sit like Moody Cow's grandpa. Can we all do that? Let me see your bodies. Let's sit up nice and tall. And let's see what he says. I hear they're calling you Moody Cow, grandfather said, and <laughs> kind of smiled. I couldn't help smiling back. I guess Moody Cow was a kind of a funny name. Can everyone smile even though your friends can't see. Oh, I just saw someone take off their mask and smile real quick and then put your mask back on. Thank you for showing me your smiles. So see this, he asked as he pointed to a jar of water. This is your mind, he said. And these, he held out a dish of sparkles, are your angry thoughts, or we can say our sad thoughts or our confused thoughts or our scared thoughts, or whatever thoughts you have, our worried thoughts. That, I said, is a jar of water, and those are da Daisy's fairy dust sparkles. Come on, Moody Cow, work with me here. Now, what we're going to do is put a pinch of sparkles for every thought, angry thought you have. Then, we're going to sit here until they all settle down to the bottom. By the time the water is clear again, your anger will have all settled down too. It won't work, I told him. Let's just see, he said. I took a pinch of sparkles and dropped it into the water. Which angry thought is that? Grandfather asked. That is the three-eyed alien. It tried to gobble me up last night. Oh, I see. Rotten way to start the day. Okay, what else? I put in another pinch for the next angry thought. This is me having to clean the toilet for a whole month for breaking the window, and I hate cleaning the toilet. Me too. What else? I put in one more pinch of sparkles, he said. This is Daisy drawing on my brand new skateboard with a marker. Oh dear, she did that? Grandfather sighed. Okay, what else? This pinch is when I missed the bus and had to ride my bike to school in the snow. You can ride a bike in the snow? Grandfather asked. I have good tires. Anything else? On my way home, I scraped my knee and I was so mad, I crashed into dad's truck and I think I broke my nose. Ouch, grandfather said. That must have hurt. It did. And then I picked up my baseball and I threw it through the window on purpose. Whoa, you should put a double pinch in for that one. I guess you really did have a moody cow day. I sure did. Is that all, grandfather asked? Yeah, but it's a lot. It sure is. Grandfather put the lid on the jar and shook it up for real good. 
This jar is like your mind is right now, he said, angry thoughts bouncing and swirling all over the place. Now let's see what happens when you let your angry thoughts settle down, grandfather said, putting the mind jar in front of me. Just sit quietly and see what happens. I sat up real straight, and then I got to the ringing of the gong, bong. I sat watching all my angry thoughts swirl around like crazy in the jar. And a few thoughts slowed down and sank to the bottom, then a few more and a few more. It was still so I could feel my heart beating. It was so quiet I could hear my breath going in and out and in and out. I felt a ray of golden sunshine coming through the window, and it warmed my back and started to melt away my anger. Ah, can everyone go like this? Ready to take a breath in and go... Ah, one more time, like the A sound. Ready? Ah. Finally, Grandfather rang the gong to end the meditation. He leaned over to whisper in my ear, okay, this is the most important part. Don't move until you can hear the sound of the gong anymore. I cocked my head, listening closely. Bong. The ringing got softer and softer and softer until I couldn't hear it anymore. Grandfather smiled and held up the jar. Well, look at this. All the sparkles have settled down, he said, and my angry thoughts have too, I said. I mean, I guess if I think about it, I could get mad again. That's probably true, he said, but we had to do lots of hard work to settle them down. Let's not stir it up again. I laughed for the first time that day. That thing is cool, I said. Can I keep it? Sure, said Grandfather. He smiled and handed me the jar and a dish of sparkles. A few minutes each day helps keep the moody cow away. I laughed again. Thanks, Grandfather. Can we do this again tomorrow? Of course. Let's try this every day. And I went in my room and put the mind jar in next to my bed, just in case the three-eyed alien comes back. Now it's been two whole weeks and I haven't even had one moody day. But I decided to keep the name anyway. I kind of like it. Remember his name was Peter? He crossed out Peter and named himself Moody Cow because it's okay, right? To have all of those feelings. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna bring our hands to our shoulders and just like the sparkles in the jar and how they move around, we're gonna move our bodies like that and we're gonna go swish, 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 swish. Swish, 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 swish. And then we're going to slow it down like the glitter. Swish, 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 swish. Until our hands come right back onto our knees. We're going to sit up tall like Moody Cow. And we're going to watch our own glitter jar. You're going to watch the glitter and we're going to watch it fall to the bottom. So let me see you sit and wait patiently and Miss Amory is gonna put that video on for us, okay? I'm going to pick one piece of glitter and watch it fall.
Say, may there be peace in our words. Bring your hands to your heart. Say, may there be peace in our hearts. Make the peace sign and look at your classmates and your teacher and say, may there be peace in our class. Yeah, peace in our homes, peace with our friends. And then make the world and say, may there be peace in the world. Beautiful. I want you to look at your teacher with your peaceful, relaxed, focused eyes and have a beautiful day. See you next week. Bye, my friends. Thank you, teachers.